Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video I want to talk about this little guy here, the Panasonic 24105 F4 for the Lumix S line cameras. On the web there are many friends that are still confused if they should pick this lens or the 24 to 70 from Sigma or Panasonic. So I want to make this little video to let you understand if uh, this is the lens that will work the best for you. And I want to start to talk about the negative things of this lens. The first one is that this lens is quite big and heavy. It will take a lot of space in your camera bag and it will not help you to have a low profile while using your camera uh, for documentaries. Another problem that I found out with this lens after using it for almost one year is uh, that these three little switches are really easy to touch while you're operating the lens. And it happens many times that I was uh, taking photos or videos and I was accidentally switching on or off the yeah, autofocus and manual focus or the lens stabilization. Another problem that I found out with this lens is that if you zoom over 50 millimeters, the autofocus performance gets worse. But uh, if you work between 24 millimeters and 50 millimeters, the autofocus is uh, really fast and accurate. A big problem that I found out with this lens while working in video is uh, a big and strong purple flare. And I really like to play with flares while filming and uh, this purple flare is quite strong and really noticeable and distracting at the same time. It happens mostly when you film directly to the sun during uh, golden hours, but the overall lens flare resistance is pretty good. So it's just in some determinated shots that you can get uh, this purple uh, lens flare. Another thing that I don't love of this lens is the digital look. Uh, the lens appear really sharp, too sharp and um, even if you lower the details uh, to minus five with all the picture profile you will still get a little bit of a digital look so that's why i always use a black promist with the intensity of one of eight uh, attached to the lens also for photography because i prefer to have an organic look than a digital look if you love to take landscape photos this lens is a little bit disappointing regarding the sun stars so if you stop down the lens up to f16, the sun stars are pretty busy and ugly. But if you stop down the lens to f22, the sun stars will have a better shape. But you're gonna deal with the diffraction, so you're gonna lose quite a bit of sharpness from the lens. So it's a big compromises that uh, can be a little bit annoying for landscape photographers. But now let's start to talk about the positive things of this lens because uh, this lens is offering a lot for the money. First, the most obvious is that uh, this lens is really useful because of the focal length. Uh, we can go easily from wide, medium and uh, close-up shots just with this lens. And uh, if you consider that the Lumix cameras are using the pixel to pixel in video and the high resolution mode for photography, this lens can be used as a 24 to 420 millimeters so you could consider this lens as the only lens you really need for almost uh, all the applications you can think. Another great feature of this lens is that uh, it's uh, stabilized. And this is a great feature if you combine it with the IBIS from the Lumix S cameras because you're gonna avoid the problem of the warping edge while filming handheld. In photography, when you pair this stabilization with the IBIS from the camera, you'll be able to get a long exposure photography just handled. So you don't have to carry the tripod with you and this will help you to be a little bit more minimalist. This lens is a constant f4 through the wall focal length. And um, if you think it's a little bit dark, consider that an f4 lens in a full frame sensor can be considered as a f2.8 in a super 35 sensor for cinema cameras. So the depth of field is gonna be almost identical and uh, the sharpness is going to be great already from f4 uh, so you don't really need to look for other lenses uh, if you work professionally with video this is the best lens you can buy because it's part focal it doesn't show focus breathing and uh, the focus motor can be set to linear so you can get really nice uh, zoom dollies and you can easily operate the lens uh, with manual focus without having the problem of the focus by wire and you will not get the distracting uh, focus breathing while changing the focus. Another great feature of this lens is that it's uh, fully weather sealed. I went out with really bad rain or in a windy dusty situation 
and since one year that I'm using this lens, I never found a spot of dust or moisture inside the lens. So if you want to know for who is this lens, I consider this lens the best one for documentary filmmakers and photographers. Every type of work that needs documentation, where you need uh, wide, medium and close-up shots, this is the best lens you can choose, because thanks to the weather steering, stabilization, autofocus and linear manual focus setting, uh, you are basically covered for any type of situations. And don't be afraid of the f4 aperture because this camera can easily shoot up to ISO 12800 without any problem with the Rec 709 gamma curve. So you're not gonna get a lot of noise. So I really hope that this video was helpful in your decision making. And if you like this video, consider to subscribe to support the channel and keep it alive. So I'll see you next time guys. Thank you for watching.